You just scroll, scroll, scroll when you want to add everything to your cart. How gorgeous is this? These are dangerous videos to make. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we have a very fun video. It's the type of video that I love shooting and you guys love watching, which are brands that are a little bit underrated, a little bit unknown, nobody really talks about them, but that I am absolutely dying to try out. The reason why I love making this type of video is because as content creators, we get into the trap of always talking about the same old brands, the ones that are easy to access, the ones that have the big advertising budget. And we forget that there is a whole sea out there of tinier, more niche labels that do a great job and make beautiful products. So without further ado, let's take a look at a few new sort of under the radar brands that I cannot wait to get my hands on. I'm a new studio. During my years in fashion, either working with it or consuming it, I have really grown to appreciate brands that specialize in one specific type of product. Might seem limiting, might seem boring, but at the end of the day, once they make that choice, they really become excellent at it. So if a brand does only belts, if a brand does only flat sandals, if a brand does only jackets, you know that those pieces will have a level of quality, a level of production, a level of durability that is unparalleled and that cannot be implemented if they are focusing on an array of pieces. That is the case with Emanu. They do only flat sandals and their designs are so beautiful. The aesthetic of the brand is more minimal, kind of discreet, very pared down aesthetic, but it has those little touches that make it look so luxurious. Forgive me if I'm looking down because I am on their website and I want to reference the names correctly, but one of my favorite styles is their Style 29. It seems very basic, it is just two straps, but it's made special by the fact that they add this gold plaque on the vertical, so it kind of gives it that luxury, that glam, without being too much, without being being kind of exaggerated, which I hate. And it makes it also so very wearable. So you can throw this on with a pair of jeans or you can throw this on with a beautiful flowy summer dress and it'll look appropriate just the same. Another style that I really like is the style 12. It's that kind of naked sandal. It almost looks like you're wearing nothing. So if you want that kind of really elongated leg effect, this is the perfect sandal to go for. They make them in black and white, which is just great basics but their style 12 in the rainbow is so cute with a cotton white summer dress you get that touch of color that is subtle but it's there so it's kind of fun it's kind of whimsical but doesn't verge on the tacky which i think can happen with a lot of colorful sandals and still on the topic of a very minimal very naked sandals the style 25 in this gorgeous gold. I mean, look at the picture of the model. It's something that Cleopatra might have worn, in my opinion, it's so chic. You put this on, you don't need red soles. You don't need the Rene Calvilla field of Swarovski crystals. Those are beautiful, but the simplicity of this is what I think makes it so luxurious. And even more luxurious, I think, is the fact that they can customize the sandals for you. So with the whole idea of personalization and having something that is unique, one of a kind, they offer a customization service that you can choose either the color of the sole, the style of the straps, the type of leather you want, the width of the sandal so that it is comfortable on your feet. So you are paying a premium. These are not cheap by any means but they're so special, they are so unique, they will fit you marvelously and from the looks of it, they will probably last for a lifetime. It's the type of sandal that you think of Jackie Kennedy wearing in Capri, you know, during her Mediterranean holidays. It's simple, it's understated, but it's so, 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 so chic. La Semaine. During the last couple of years, I feel that a lot of brands have come out with this sort of 
French girl style proposition and I have to say I love it. I think it is so beautiful that kind of Parisian chic, really elegant but kind of coquettish, feminine, easy to pull off, looks very flattering in a lot of body types and La Semaine kind of goes into that direction but unlike other brands that maybe go for a more va va -voom, retro approach for instance gala paris does that really well i've talked about them in the previous video of the series la semaine does it in a more wearable current way so even though there is a little bit of that vintage perfume it's easy to combine with anything you have in your wardrobe the lines are a little bit more modern so it is a little bit more practical in a way another interesting detail is even though la semaine goes for that French Parisian chic aesthetic. The pieces are 100% made in Italy. So you get the beauty of the French look, but you get the quality of Italian artisanship, which to me is very, very important. And once you start scrolling through their website, it's you're lost. You want to have everything. I mean, look at this Alex shirt. How fabulous is this, especially with the earrings that she has on, the puffy sleeves with the kind of gathered around the cuff so it gives a different silhouette, it looks like a beautiful beautiful cotton, it doesn't have that super oversized fit but it is still not too close to the body so once you tuck it into something that is a little bit more form fitting on the bottom it'll add that volume, it's just the type of piece that in the details make a look. This one is also super cute, this Leah jumpsuit is more of a play suit because it has the shorts, it has the round more closed off neckline but they add a slash which adds interest, adds that again detail, that different aspect that won't make it look generic, will make it look special. You guys know how I feel about gingham for summer, this is perfection, this Vichy check. They make this in a yellow and they also make oh, the blue. I would go for the blue. Is this the cutest thing you've ever seen? The Isabelle top as well. This is so chic. It looks vintage. The cut is such a nod to 30s and 40s and 50s fashion because it has the cap sleeve. It has the buttons in the front, which reminds me a little bit of Dior's new look. It has the curved neckline which I think is so special nobody makes them anymore and it just adds interest it's completely different from anything anyone will ever wear but it's still wearable you can see that she's wearing it with a cohort pair of shorts here but you could totally pull this off with a pencil skirt you could pull this off with a pair of jeans you could even pull this off as a third piece sort of as a layer with a maybe roll neck underneath so gorgeous, I love it in this ecru color as well, very easy to style, very summery but still very chic. The Georgia sweater is also beautiful, it's very similar to what I'm wearing right now but it looks a little bit better quality so I might do a little substitution here and there. I love the red silhouette, I think that if you want to create a waist, if you want to create an hourglass figure, something in a wrap is the easiest way to achieve that. It's feminine, you can regulate it if you want to leave it more open, if you want to close it up a little bit more, you can layer it over a shirt. This with a shirt with a collar would be beautiful. You can pair this with a midi skirt, you can pair this with a pair of trousers. Lovely, just a lovely, lovely brand. Sabet. I know this will seem like a contradiction. I just did a video talking about how I don't feel like you need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars in a handbag to look chic. And I stand by that statement. However, if I did have the big bucks, I would go for something like Savet. I feel like luxury lately has lost a very important element of it or has been losing or not giving it enough attention which is rarity, which is uniqueness, which is that scarcity, that idea that when you get something it is actually special. I don't think that spending tens of thousands of dollars in a bag, if you're going to see it everywhere on the hands of anyone, makes it special. Just a big price tag does not justify luxury, in my opinion. But once I see something like this, that looks very well made, that doesn't look tired, that doesn't look overly exposed, 
my heart starts to flutter. And something that I find really interesting is that even though it is a more recent brand because it has been launched in 2020, so just three years ago, their line seems very heritage. They have these classic silhouettes, these beautiful classic materials that make me sure that if I buy one of these bags, I will wear it for the rest of my life and they will never look dated. And even though their selection is a little bit limited, they are not just popping out new styles every week. I do think they have a nice variety to their line. So for instance, if you're a little bit more casual, a little bit more laid back, something like the Tondo Hobo that has that 70s style would look great on you. I love it in the suede. I think it's something that maybe Ellie McGraw would wear in the 70s. If you're more into practical bags, their convertible ones I think are great, like the Spark convertible clutch. You can make it into a clutch or it is sort of a crossbody bag. Another very practical option, and this one I think it's even more classic, is the Symmetry 19. It has that classic boxy shape that a lot of brands do, but the fact that the strap is convertible in so many ways, it can be a shoulder bag, can be crossbody, can even be a handheld bag, I think it's so cute. Very minimal, very discreet. The only thing that makes it detailed is the clasp. This is the only iconic element from the brand. So it's a little kept secret that if you know, you know. But it looks spacious. It looks like it can take a beating and it looks like it's going to last for a long time. But if I could pick just one, it would have to be the Symmetry Pochette in Maple Lizard. It's sold out, so it is a sign from the heavens that I should not be spending this money right now. But isn't it just divine? It is a familiar shape because it is the trapeze that we love so much, but it's still different. So you get that originality, that newness factor, but given that the shape is so classic, it doesn't look out of place, it doesn't look hard to style, the material is absolute luxury. If you had any doubts in your mind, it has the clasp. So again, that identifiable DNA from the brand, but done in a very subtle pared down way. I think they will blow up pretty soon because a lot of the styles are sold out on their website. But for now, it is an underrated brand that I absolutely want to try. Hoji. Well, apparently this is an iconic knitwear brand from France. It's been around since 1852, so I should probably have heard of it by now, but I hadn't. You live, you learn. They describe themselves as French excellence with a touch of modernity. And if you love that European style, I think Rodier is the perfect brand for you. And what I mean by European style is that sort of effortless, nonchalant way of dressing, but that still looks deadly chic. It's all about proportions, about how a piece fits, it's about quality, about the colors that you choose to wear, and Hoje makes it very, very easy. The brand is known for their knitwear, but if you want to dress head to toe Hoje, you can. They have pants, they have jackets, they have everything you might need. Some pieces that are on my wish list are their knit polos. I have been talking about adding knit polos to my summer wardrobe for years now, and I never do. Maybe this is my chance. I just love the classic shape of a polo, but with the knit makes it a little bit more luxurious, a little bit more dressed up. Also, their twin sets are something that I really want to try. I love the idea of twin sets because you can wear the pieces together as a cohort, but you can also wear them separately, so you're getting two pieces in one. And something else that I really want to try from them is their cashmere. Now, I know we're heading into warmer months. Who cares about cashmere? If you're style savvy, you're always caring about cashmere. And their cashmere looks divine. They also have finer cashmere, so things that even though it is a summer season, you can still throw over your shoulders if it is a little bit chillier. Maybe you're getting into an airplane. So it's not like you're not getting your wear out of these types of pieces. And they also have their private sales going on. So private meaning that you have to subscribe to the website to get access to the pieces. But I mean, the prices are unbeatable. We're talking up to 50% off. So don't walk, run. Maria de la Orden Studio. We have talked about more understated, more discreet brands so far, 
So of course we have to go the polar opposite right now and talk about a vibrant, zingy, super fun brand. I love Maria de la Orden. I think they are so original, a touch of eccentricity, but still wearable, still fun to dress up in. They have this uniqueness to their designs that I find is so interesting and you can see that they put in a lot of effort and consideration into drawing their pieces. And it'll make just the Grinchiest of Grinches long for a hot summer day to wear one of these. This could be a boring piece, but the tiny choices that they make, the zigzag pattern of the top, the bows with the striped fabric, this shade of corally orange that is so not obvious, just makes it unique, makes it interesting. Same thing with this Celeste dress. If it was in a white, like we saw from La Semaine, if it was in an ecru, if it was in a navy, it would be very classic, very demure. The fact that they made it in a striped fabric, in this sort of sorbet orange and this very light yellow, adds life to the piece. So maybe it's not something that you can wear time and time again, it's something that people will remember, so you cannot just repeat it day after day after day, but it's so fun. It's so different. I just love it. This Gina dress, doesn't it look like something that maybe Marisa Berenson would have worn in the 70s? Just on a boat, cruising the Greek islands. The boat neck, this mocking around the bodice, the length of it. And then the final but magical touch is the color of the stripes again has that exact shade of color that makes it chic. So it's not a bright orange, it's not a hot pink, it has a pastel -y sort of vintage patina to it. I really love this brand. They also have a bunch of cohorts, so if you want to get a full look out of their prints, you can. I know it's not very in line with what I usually show on the channel, but I do think it's important to, from time to time, to have fun with fashion, to have those unexpected pieces that will sort of match with other more pared down options that you might have in your wardrobe and just add character to your look. Add that jolt of personality that makes a wardrobe go from generic to individual, go from boring to exciting. Vita Grace, the last brand of the video, still on the topic of having fun. If Maria de la Orden is a little bit too out there for you, I think you will love Vita Grace. Their styles are detailed, they have that unexpected element, but it's still very wearable and comfortable. It's actually how they describe themselves. So you know you're getting pieces that you're going to wear a lot, you know it's pieces that you won't be afraid to go out in public in. But this doesn't by any means take away from the fact that they make beautiful striking pieces. For instance, this Khalees blouse. Just the color of it is fantastic, this sort of lavenderish pink that looks good on anyone's skin tone, will be summery, will be fun, but still very wearable. The ruffles, just gorgeous with this sort of pearl-like trimming that gives it interest and sort of draws the eye. Then the fabric of the blouse is a very light cotton, so it has a little bit of transparency, giving it that more dynamic appearance. But what I love about this is that it is actually a very versatile piece. So you wear this blouse with a pair of jeans. You wear this blouse with like the model is doing here, with a pair of white shorts, with a skirt, even with a blazer over it. It is still doable as a piece still will work for you and for your wardrobe, but it's just gorgeous. It, it has that pop, which we love. Also, this mirror dress is divine for summer. To me, it screams Palm Springs. I've never been, but that's what it says to me. The shorter hemline with the very striking kind of contrasting print with the bell sleeves that give it movement around the arms, compensating the shorter hemline. You style it like she did here with a more casual purse and some flats and you can go to the beach. 
or you pair this with beautiful high heel sandals, a clutch, put your hair back and you can go out in the evening as well. This Evelyn shirt is also so smart as a piece because it is constructed as a shirt in the sense that it is made with cotton, you have the cuffs, you have the collar, but the way they designed it with the scalloping makes it perfect as a little jacket. So maybe a little summer jacket, you want to wear it like she did here as a collar, you want to wear it over a dress, it is a little bit cropped so it would look great with high-waisted bottoms, whatever you have. You just scroll, scroll, scroll and you want to add everything to your cart. This is it everyone, these are the brands that I wanted to share with you. I feel like they have been popping up a little bit more often. Brands feel that they have a space to grow with Instagram, social media, they have more opportunities, so hopefully they'll keep coming. Let me know down in the comments below if you've ever tried any of these brands or if you have other unheard of brands they would like to share with us. We always love to know and we'll see each other again next time. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.